Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Air and Water. Question number 1. A sample of water forms heavy foam or lather with soap. This water is called Option A. Heavy water? Option B. Good water? Option C. Soft water? Option D. Hard water? The correct answer is Option C. Soft water? Question number 2. Which of the following is not a property of air? Option A. Air is a homogeneous mixture of gases. Option B. Air is not a matter because it cannot be seen. Option C. Air is highly compressible. Option D. Air exerts pressure. The correct answer is. Option B. Air is not a matter because it cannot be seen. Question number 3. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. But a sample when boiled, boils at 130 degrees Celsius. This implies that. Option A. It was cold. Option B. The intensity of flame is not enough. Option C. It has some impurities in it. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. It has some impurities in it. Question number 4. The water from taps which we drink is sweet while distilled water is bitter and we cannot drink it. This is due to. Option A. Addition of sugar to tap water. Option B. Dissolved gases and salts in tap water. Option C. Chemical treatment. Option D. Both addition of sugar to tap water and chemical treatment. The correct answer is. Option C. Chemical treatment. Question number 5. Water that comes from the underground contains a lot of dissolved minerals and is called. Option A. Underground water. Option B. Spring. Option C. Natural water. Option D. Rain water. The correct answer is. Option B. Spring. Question number 6. Hardness of water is due to the presence of. Option A. Chlorides and sulfates of calcium and potassium. Option B. Bicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium. Option C. Bicarbonates, and chlorides of potassium and magnesium. Option D. Cicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates of calcium, potassium and magnesium. The correct answer is. Option B. Bicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium. Question number 7. Air pollution on the road can be reduced by underscore. Option A. Reducing the number of vehicles on the road. Option B. Widening the roads. Option C. Having more traffic lights. Option D. Having less traffic lights. The correct answer is. Option A. Reducing the number of vehicles on the road. Question number 8. Acid rain includes. Option A. Sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid. Option B. Sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Option C. Phosphoric acid and nitric acid. Option D. Sulfuric acid and nitrous acid. The correct answer is. Option B. Sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Question number 9. We can recycle water by underscore. Option A. Reusing the water from washing clothes to cook. Option B. Discharging factory waster into canals and seas. Option C. Discharging sewage and waste materials into the ocean. Option D. 
reusing the water from washing clothes to wash the floor. The correct answer is Option D. Reusing the water from washing clothes to wash the floor. Question number 10. In the water cycle, the process that takes place before it rains is Option A. Freezing. Option B. Condensation. Option C. Evaporation. Option D. Melting. The correct answer is Option B. Condensation. Question number 11. The gas is only about 20 parts out of 100 of air in the atmosphere. It is needed for decomposition of organic matter to take place. This gas is Option A. Carbon dioxide. Option B. Water vapor. Option C. Oxygen. Option D. Nitrogen. The correct answer is Option C. Oxygen. Question number 12. Farmers always plough or turn the soil before they plant seeds because Option A. It loosens the soil and allows air to enter into the spaces between the soil particles. Option B. Sprouting seeds will be able to use the trapped air. Option C. Plants will absorb some air through their roots and also take in water and minerals from the soil. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option D. All of them. Question number 13. The water vapor in air due to. Option A. Evaporation of water from oceans, rivers, lakes and streams. Option B. It is given out plants through their leaves. Option C. It is given out by animals when their sweat evaporates. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option D. All of them. Question number 14. Which of the following would help us to reduce the amount of water brought from other countries? A. Boiling water after use B. Recycling water C. Obtaining water from the CD. Building more reservoirs to collect rainwater. Option A. B only. Option B. A and C only. Option C. B and D only. Option D. B. C and D only. The correct answer is. Option D. B. C and D only. Question number 15. Which of the following are true about acid rain? A. Acid rain is very harmful to the environment. B. Acid rain can harm aquatic organisms. C. Acid rain helps to make the environment clean by killing germs. D. Acid rain causes damage to building. Option A. A and B. Option B. A and C. Option C. A. C and D. Option D. A. B and D. The correct answer is Option D. A, B and D. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.